1611 here, and welcome to something different. Uh, this is a tutorial video, and uh, obviously there's a title, but um, this will be like on uh, like some store accessories. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put as the title, but I'm going to start with the coolest thing real quick. We're gonna go over each thing and then do a small tutorial on it. So first, we're gonna start with this, which would be the uh, conveyor belt cash register kind of thing at you know the stores that you have. So Say I went around, and these are the shelves and the fridges, and I went and bought some mine carts, some rails, redstone lamps, some redstone, and anvil. And so I wanted to go up in the store, and I wanted to buy it. But uh, working conveyor belts in Minecraft and cash registers with the bags might be a little hard to do. Well, I got your got your problem solved here. So uh, once you activate this, it will put water over and then it'll drop everything into something I'll show you real quick this is the cashier's place with the little computer and the keypad and you can turn off the conveyor belt this is the money chest and the bags chest because once you put your stuff down the line uh, it, it will get scanned by the cashier by the automatic uh, cashier which actually we're gonna put in an observer for that Boop, there we are as the scanner and um, then uh, you slot your card through in your little keypad and it goes through this hopper into your bag obviously a brown shulker box is like a Kroger bag and then there's all your stuff that you just bought and I think it was a pretty cool design for just a small little um, uh, conveyor belt cash register sort of thing so we'll go ahead and get on to the tutorial Alright, we're gonna start out with a 9 by 6 area. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then you just break that out as a whole. And obviously, you'll have this as your little floor. And we will just floor in. I'm gonna do that real quick. You're just going to simply do a 3, 4, and then bring this back. So 3, four, five, six, and it comes back just that much. We're going to break these four blocks here, place uh, a dispenser up like this, coal like this, in an observer up like that, and iron pressure plates all around so that when you get this, it activates that dispenser. Alright, and we're going to put away that stuff real quick. Uh, back here, you can place your chest with your truck doors. And uh, actually, we're going to grab a real quick thing from over here. Okay, grab that, and this, and this. Oh no, not enough space. And did I grab that? Alright, there we are. Um, for the little scanner slot, you can do a, uh, that goes on this side, <laughs> a jukebox in there. No, 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 no. Come on, I just want this. Okay, the way I built it, it saw a lot faces that way, but if you build it the other way, you know, whatever. Um, with a banner on it, and a little uh, flip up thing and then on this side you have the computer which is just an upside down stair or it's just a stair with a item frame did I put the banner on this? yes I did it's an item frame and uh, a black stained glass in there item frame down here with a daylight sensor down here, a daylight sensor right here, and then on the back here, we're actually going to grab this up because I forgot that too. Grab yourself uh, the weighted pressure plates and a hopper, and you can guess what we're going to do is place the hopper, actually place first place a shulker box, brown preferably, and then place hopper and going into it, and a weighted pressure plate over it, and there's, that's your bag, 
um, quote, quote, and then we can grab some water, bucket of water, yeah. and throw the bucket of water in there, and then should be functional if I could get the item in there. There we are. Obviously, okay. Now, it has its flaws, but it does work. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. There we are. And then the cashier would turn it off. Right, actually, um, I did forget. To, you want to break this block and have a slab coming off here and a button right here so you can turn it off and on as the cashier and obviously it flows into the shulker box just like an automatic bag boy I guess it would be and I was right this stair goes that way and I want those back real quick alright there we are so that is your cast register uh, finished, done and dusted, so next we're going to move on to the automatic door, which is simple, we just, it's uh, just an opening and closing door, and you can do it up, I have it um, done up with just some sandstone, and there you are, you can run through it too, you won't hit it, and it is a very simple door to do, so let's get on to this tutorial. I've gathered the materials for it. You're just going to want a uh, nice small area and you're just going to place down where you want your doors. And so two sticker pistons, one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, two more. And you can go ahead and put your glass in if you want, but I'm going to leave it out for now. And then we're going to break out these blocks here. Too deep. And back here, actually we're going to place a block like that with redstone on it and this door is not my design everything else is my design uh, but the door you could probably find all over YouTube and we're going to do the same thing and then break those two blocks and redstone torch here and here uh, and redstone like this with redstone like this now you should be able to cover it up. Simple as that. And then uh, you can place your glass. You can even place glass up here. Say you had like a glass front store. But I would recommend obviously placing um, real blocks around the actual machinery looks better that way. I'm going to do it up for you guys real quick. And you want pressure plates. Preferably stone. I think that, well, stone or wood ones. I'm not sure the weighted would work as great. And say we had more glass here. Wouldn't matter. But, point is, works just fine. Nice door. Alright, so move on to the next thing real quickly. And the next thing I have for you is shelves and the frigid, the fridges and like groceries. We're doing a grocery store type of theme if you haven't guessed. So the shelves are very, very, very simple. So um, you just grab whatever you want to put, item frames. Uh, you want or whatever you want to put on the shelves, and then you need signs, item frames, dispensers, and whatever you're going to build your shelf out of. So, you just kind of place down blocks like this, and then dispensers down here. And I've done a two story shelf here. We can do that too. And that, I just do it like this. And with slabs on the top. Alright, and this is just uh, to show you guys how I do it. And then you do the signs with your um, 
price is and what item it is. You know, whatever you're doing there. And then you can, on the top shelf, you can actually, you could place it on the top, but it'd be kind of hard to see, so I just place it in an item frame. And then down here, whatever you're selling, so like, say you're selling words and lamps, or fence gates, or repeaters, you could just place that on the block. And obviously, you'll have your prices and stuff down below. Like I have here, a diamond, um, two diamonds for a one minecart, two diamonds for uh, 64 rails, eight iron ingots for some lamp. You, you, you get the idea. And the fridge, uh, the fridge section isn't much different, although um, I suggest I did just kind of add this one part in for this, put this sign up here. There we are. Okay, so you have um, your signs for the top section, whatever's in the top up here in the prices uh, on these signs, and then you have the items, you would have see what do I have in the bottom, the fish there, so you'd have the chicken up top and here you have mutton on the bottom, salmon on the top so I, I did kind of just add the top section recently because I was having problems with figuring what, out, what I was going to do with this, and as you can see the glass does not touch the item frames that is why they are staying there so, I'll teach you how to do that really quickly. Let's just grab some quartz because, um, and we'll grab the dispensers. Uh, obviously, the fridge sections are white for some reason. And we're going to grab stairs. Stairs, there we are. Okay. So, it is actually not that hard, but just build a small section really quick. All right, do our little wall. And then for the parts that are actually going to be fridges, you are going to place stairs upside down, right side up, upside down, right side up, upside, upside down, right side up, right side down, and right side up. And then, because of that, the glass does not uh, connect to it, except, you know, where the actual blocks are so that you can make your divisions. So, it works out perfectly for item frames, if I grab some of those real quickly. You can place your item frames in here, and have individual sections at the same time. Nope. Oh. Oh my. That's better. <laughs> and then we can just do this. And you can have your items in the item frames. And your stuff. Um. In the dispensers. Or you can have chests too, but I think the dispensers just fit the feel more. And then you just have these dispensers up here. Like this. Or, well, I guess you could just do those how you want, but, uh, how did I do them? Yeah, I did them above, like this. So, I did them sideways above the glass here. If I can do it, come on. There we are. Uh-huh, and there we are. And then you just do your blocks. Um, yeah, so, and then obviously you'll do your frames so it'll all look better, and your slabs up top real quick. There we go, see? Looks nice. Okay, now it looks nice. <laughs> and that's your, uh, fridges section. So, uh, yeah, I think that, oh, there's one more thing, we'll go ahead and just do it real quick. This one does not need a tutorial. It is the same concept of the stairs um, makes the uh, glass go around the block instead of into it. And you can put item frames there. So I have stairs here. 
and dispensers underneath it so that you can have uh, like a bakery or a deli or a fish uh, place and they can have their meat counter right here and their um, chest for their money and stuff and then so like people come up and they ask for whichever meat or whatever they want and then you over here you come in and they're like okay and you get the one they picked and you just give it to them you know like cha there you go uh, so that's a simple concept I don't really need to do a tutorial on that same same thing so <clears throat> hope you guys did enjoy this little odd thing I decided to do it um, <clears throat> I will uh, give a little shout out because this was for my sister as she likes to build stores and then uh, I decided it might be I used to make like furniture videos and I did one or two so I thought this might be a cool addition you guys might like to see um, like the cash register I thought that was pretty cool what I came up with that alright this has been ZX9611 now see you guys next time ZX out